Hello and welcome to another Google Office tutorial. Today we're going to focus on Google Drawing. Google Drawing is a lot like um, a desktop publishing program. You might com compare it to uh, Microsoft Publisher. Uh, it's sort of a scaled down version like most Google Office programs are compared to Microsoft. But it is functional. You can make a flyer. You can do some different stuff with it. Let's get started. Okay, good idea to begin with the end in mind. When your project is done, it should look like this. Okay, to get started, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we are in the folder uh, location where we want to store this file. So to do that, we need to go to our waffle, go to Google Drive, go to the classroom folder, and then go to our class folder, which is in this case, Complet Orange. Then we go into projects. Then we go into Google Office Projects, and then we go into Drawing. And this is where we will create our file. Once we're at this location, we're going to click on New. We're going to go down to More, and we're going to select Google Drawings. All right. First thing we're going to do is name this. Let's go ahead and call this D1 for Drawing. And drawing one, and we're going to call this fishing flyer. We're going to make a fishing flyer. All right. We're going to change the page orientation uh, for this project. So to do this, we need to go to the file menu, click on that, go down to page setup, and we're going to change the page setup to custom. And the dimensions we want to use for this are eight. 5 by 11, which is your standard letter size paper. All right. Next, we're going to uh, choose a background color for our project, for our flyer. So I'm, I'm going to, to do this, I'm going to right click. I'm going to use my right mouse button, click anywhere on the screen. And I'm going to go into background. And I'm going to select, let's see, I'm going to select dark yellow one. I believe it's this one. Okay. Next, we're going to add a title to our project. To do this, we're going to come up to the menus up here. We're going to click Insert, and we're going to select Word Art, and we're going to type in Come Fishing. I'm going to click away from that. Now, we're going to reposition this by dragging it up, centering it, and we'll make it a little taller. And I'm also going to change its color. I'm going to go up to the fill color bucket, click on the arrow, and I'm going to change the text to white. All right. Next, we're going to insert our main graphic. To do this, we need to go up to the Insert menu, click on it, click on Image, then select Drive. Now, over here on the right-hand side, we want to see our uh, drive. Click on My Drive. Click on Classroom. And if you're not seeing the view you want, you can change that. Click on Classroom. Click on Our Class. Click on Projects. Click on Google Office Projects. Click on Drawing. And there's the file that we need. Insert it. Or I should say, guy catching a shark. So once I bring it in, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to resize it some. You want to take advantage of the real estate that you have. All right. This is the focal point of our picture, of our flyer, I should say. All right, that's one way to add an image. Um, we're going to add an image another way. Uh, we're going to go back to Insert image. This time we're going to choose by URL. That is, we want to get an image from the internet. Now, I already have a, a, another window open, a Google, uh, Google search window, and I'm on images, and I'm going to use um, phishing as my search term. I'm going to come up and I'm going to select clip art. Then 
Then I'm going to go to Search Tools, and I'm going to go over to Color. And I'm going to click on this arrow, and I'm going to come down, and I'm going to tell the program that I want it to search for transparent images, that is, images with um, clear backgrounds, so I don't have to edit them. All right, this brings up a list of images or um, thumbnails of images. So I'm gonna I'm gonna select this one right here. So I'm gonna click on it. You notice it has the checkered background. That means it's a clear background. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna select Copy Image URL. That copies the address of this image. So I click click on it, and then I can go back to my other screen and where it says paste an image URL here I'm gonna click paste and it shows you the image then I'm gonna click select and it brings in the image now I'm gonna reposition this to get it roughly where I want it and then because I want another one I'm just gonna copy and paste it right click copy right click paste now I'm gonna uh, I'm going to flip it around like a pancake. I'm keeping it next to it just so I can verify its size. So it's close. And then I'll bring it to the other side. Kind of like bookends. Okay. So far, so good. Next, I'm going to insert a text box. So I'm going to come up to Insert text box and when you click on that notice I have this little cursor that looks like a cross and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna drag this out I'm gonna try to center it on my picture underneath my picture and here's where I type my text and the top text we're gonna type is affordable pricing because this is like an advertisement now we're gonna do some things to this the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change its font size. Now, what you want to do this, you want to first highlight the text. Make sure you do that. And I'm going to click, come up to font size. I'm going to change it to 30. I also want to center this, so I'm going to uh, come over to alignment, and I'm going to click on the arrow, and I'm going to select center. I also want to center it in the box, so I'm going to click on. Whoops, I'm going to click on this button right here centers it in the box. I'm also going to change the font style. So I'm going to come over, click on this arrow, and I'm going to come down to Times New Roman. And lastly, I'm going to change its color. So I come to font, I go to text color, click on the arrow, I'm going to change it to red. And there's our text box. Now if you wanted to uh, tuck this in a little bit so it was a little bit close to the picture, you could just change the height of the box by dragging this up a little bit and you notice that the text stays right in the middle. All right. Next we're going to add a little call out and to do this we're going to go to insert and then shape and we're going to select a call out and I'm going to put it right here. It's going to pretend the shark is talking. Now the, the little directional arrow that says who's talking is on the wrong side so I'm just going to come to that little yellow diamond and I'm going to drag it over so it looks like the shark is talking and then I'm just going to come up inside the box and I'm going to type out my message and my message is I'll grant you three wishes if you let me go now if you did if you realize you have a little more space than you'd like, you can always just resize the box a little bit so that everything fits nice and snug. All right. Next, we're going to insert a table. Tables are good for um, storing information. In this, in this instance, we're going to do days of the week. So um, it shows the, the, where we're, our, the business is open. So we're going to go to Insert, and we're going to select Table. And notice it gives you some options. How many columns do you want? How many rows do you want? So in this particular instance, we are going to select one that is seven. It has seven columns with two rows. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it puts it right in the middle. But I don't want it right in the middle. So I'm going to move it down. And I know from experience that I'm going to want this wider. So I'm going to drag this all the way out. There we 
go. Next, we're going to format our table. To do this, we're going to highlight the table. So I'm clicking. Notice I'm not clicking on the edge. I'm clicking in the, in the middle of this first cell, and I'm dragging it over all the way over. So I've selected the entire first row. Now I'm going to come up to my bucket, my fill color, and I'm going to select cornflower blue. I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom row. Click in there, drag it all the way over, come up to my fill color, I'm going to select white. Next, I'm going to select the entire table by starting in the top row, just like I did when I was selecting the top row only, dragging all the way over to the right, and then coming down. And now I've selected the entire table. Now I'm going to come up to line color, click on the arrow, and I'm going to select black. And what this did was it gave me some lines in between the, the cells. And next, we're going to go ahead and add our days of the week that were open. Which is basically all week. Now, if you uh, ever notice that you have a word that is being split because there's not enough room, you could always come up in between two cells and drag it over to give yourself a little bit more room. In this instance, um, I'm going to actually change the font size from 14 to 12, and that'll take care of it. I also want to center these. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to click Align, Center them. And then I'm also going to center them that way. And lastly, I'll do the days of the I'll do the, the time. I'm going to say 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now I can retype this seven times, six more times, or I can highlight it, copy it, right click, paste. Or if you notice the paste shortcut is control V on your keyboard, make things a little easier. So I can hit control V, click on the next one, control V, control V, control V, control V. And there we have it. We have created a flyer using Google Drawing.